all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Paris Saint-Germain against Real Madrid. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. Things running. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? It has to be the brains of the operation, Tony Kroos. He's another one of the elite passers in world football, and his consistency remains high at, at both club and international level. And one of the first picks in the team. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Oh, good interception. Ibrahimovic, Pepe does well there, alert. Tony Kroos, Modric, Bale. Bale, he's got himself a free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Modric, and it's Tony Kroos. Is there any support? He might not need it. Thiago Silva, it's the route one option. Real Madrid can count themselves very lucky there. They looked fragile. This game is in need of some excitement. It needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Cavani. Marco Verratti. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Good clearance and very necessary. Verratti. This is promising. He's off on a marauding run. Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! And Paris Saint-Germain take the lead! I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves into the lead. Oh, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. They have to stay focused. Ibrahimovic. Oh, he's broken through. And oh! Paris Saint-Germain are in control here on the brink of half-time. It's Benzema. And it's James Rodriguez. Spoon forward. This is promising. 